So if you've got an iPad with a USB-C port, you're probably just using it for charging, but there's so many other things you can do with it. In this video, I'm going to show you a few things that I like to use my USB-C port for that allows me to get the best out of my iPad. First up, we've got external storage. If you've ever run out of space on your iPad or just want to be able to move files around, this is a really useful tip. I use this when I want to back up large files like footage and design work, and it's also really handy just to clean things up a bit. All you need is a Type-C to USB connection, and you can either get an SSD or just a basic USB stick like I use. Another great tool with the USB-C port that you're actually listening to right now in this video is being able to connect my iPad to an external microphone. Using this USB-C port, I can connect straight to my iPad and straight to this Blue Yeti microphone. That way I can do all my recording for my videos straight through my iPad. Okay, for this next one, if you've ever wanted to turn your iPad into a full-blown desk setup, we're going to be able to do this with the USB-C hub. This setup really allows you to get the full experience out of your iPad. It allows you to sit down with a keyboard and mouse and get some serious work done. Here's everything you're gonna need. You're gonna need a USB-C port with a HDMI connection. It's gonna have to have some USB connections so you can plug in a keyboard and mouse. For your main screen for your desk setup, you're gonna need an external monitor to plug into your iPad. Once you've got your external monitor connected, make sure you've got stage manager enabled and make sure your display for your external monitor is set to the right position as to where your iPad is located. Great thing about the USB hub that I use, I can plug in my iPad's charging cable into the USB hub. That way it keeps my iPad charged whilst I'm using it as a full blown desk setup. I'll leave a link to that USB hub in the description. So that's how I've been using the USB-C port on my iPad. Let me know if these tips and tricks are going to help you. And let me know if there's any special tricks with a Type-C port that you know about that isn't in this video. Comment it down below.